rest for a while. Once our task is done. Welcome back to Let's Play Prince of Persia. I'm Burning Dog Face. Hang on. on the last episode, we met the alchemist and his wonderful bag of goodies. And by that, I mean he tried to poison and murder us, but we fairly swiftly beat him to death. What the? All right. Let's see. Oh, I didn't see that one. That's, that's exactly what I meant to do. Why is he just walking there? Oh, that would have been embarrassing. I wonder why she just doesn't magic us everywhere. Now then... Make your mind up. Aha! To the victor go the spoils. I feel strongly. Where the hell are we going today? I decided to go back here. There's still two new areas we have yet to see. Hmm, decisions, decisions. It's a good thing there was a platform right there. Well, all right then. That was interesting. I didn't think, I didn't notice the scratch marks there, and I wanted to climb up to that beam that I just pointed at on the screen because I'm an idiot. But, uh, I didn't see that. Hang on. He automatically went into the right animation. No, wait. If I'm going that way, I should get these goodies right here. Wow. Thanks. I don't know why he did that. Oh, come on! You have to teach me how to do that. All right, that one was her not responding to the Y button. That's all you, Mario. Don't call so hard. Jeez. Tatum, tatum.
What the? Okay. I wonder what I was supposed to do to survive on the other side. I guess I was just supposed to use a Elica jump. So I'm starting to get a feeling of what I uh, sensed from uh, watching the Sands of Time from this. That there is exactly one way to get through any given sen sequence sentence. And if you don't do that thing, you are boned. In this case, you have to, well, jump on the wall and run to the vines, as the thing is so unhelpfully pointing out. And then you jump to that one from along that wall. You can only be pointing straight at that. Uh uh, maybe not. It seems you have to go out of your way to uh, avoid the most obvious route. And even then, uh, it's not like this is a very important area. Ah! Also, the precision of the jumping is a lot less forgiving than uh, other games I've seen. This is basically why I, that, you know, incredible precision of the platforming sections was uh, one of the reasons I passed on one on, uh, Sands of Time. The other big reason was uh, <laughs> there's something about, I don't remember specifically, it was years ago, there's just something with the combat that looked off to me. Oh, hey. Hang on. Boy, I bet I can get that one right there. Backtracking is your friend, children. Oh man. The sandstorm's got nothing on this. I have no idea what he meant by that. Jump. Oh. She has a point there. Sometimes when he's really near her, he just starts walking instead of running. Where exactly are we going? Oh yes. I go up last time. Well, whatever. There's more over here. That's funny. I hit Y, but uh, my finger slipped and hit B first. I wonder if hitting uh, the wrong command makes it impossible to get the uh, I don't know combo afterwards. Wait a minute. 
I thought this is where I came in. Nice. No comment on that. Nice. Teleporting. Loading screen. Was that thing we fought in the temple of the road? No. It was a soldier of Araman. Some were trapped with him when he fell. We need to go to the temple. I know. Driven woman. I'll give you that. How many soldiers is some? No one knows. Some scriptures talk of Araman falling with the four corrupted and a thousand followers. Let's hope they're off by a few hundred. Do the corrupted know where we're going? The corrupted lived here when Araman conquered the city, but the fertile grounds weren't here then. The Ura built them to contain Araman. This would be the Armin we could hear in the temple? They know where we're going. Huh. What are these corrupted? Armin's chosen. They sold their souls to him in return for rewards. They will fight for him. They will fight to be free. There you go. We're alive, so he must be trapped. happened so far today you think there's anything that can't be these plates haven't been lit for generations the healings must have had an effect will they keep Armin trapped no they gave the Ura their powers now that they're active we can reach the other fertile grounds if we heal those then he'll be trapped and we can get out of here yes Was to enter fertile grounds in the City of Light and the Royal Palace. With the power from here, we could access fertile grounds in the Citadel and in the Royal Palace. This will allow us to reach fertile ground in the City of Light and the Vale. This will let us enter fertile grounds in the Citadel and the Vale. Okay, Citadel, the Vale, the Royal Palace, and the City of Light. Huh. Let's go for the Citadel, since, uh... Well, it's one of the places we haven't been yet, also, incidentally. Actually, since I don't remember, it's story time. The King's Gate. Entrance to the fortress that protected the city. It should be a place of safety, but it can only protect against men, not against Araman. Can I just hit any one of them? The Sun Temple. A place to watch the dawn rise, to celebrate the ending of the night. It now lies swallowed by darkness, and it is not the dawn that will save it. Yes, I can, but, uh... Ah, oh, crap. I don't remember what she said. I'm pretty sure the yellow one mentioned the Citadel. We can uh, access fertile grounds in the Citadel and in the Royal Palace. Well, thanks. Excellent, then. Let's go with this one. Let's go. Wait, what? We have to use these powers to get up to the fertile grounds? Yes. 
They were used to protect them. You're gonna have to teach me how to use them. Oh, over there. Oh! I wasn't expecting it to be that. If the powers were meant to protect the fertile grounds, why are we meeting Armin friends then? The lands have been corrupted. Armin's followers cannot use the plates. The powers come from Ormaz, the god of light. Can't this Ormaz stop Armin? No one knows where he is. He's in Reno. Some god of light sticking us with his problems. A thousand years ago, after the war here, Ormaz imprisoned Armin. He left the Ura to guard the prison. And? And he left. No one knows to where. Since then, the Ura lost the powers he gave them. The prison is weakened. You can't just pray a bit and bring him back? If Omaz were here, he would stop this. He's not, so it is up to us. What? Oh, jeez, I didn't even see that there. You have powers. Does that mean Ormaz is coming back? It is not Ormaz who has given them to me. It is the temple. But yes, that probably means Ormaz is coming back. So it seems all the backstory that they're not explaining is in these optional conversations. That's not good design. Elica, please, I did this for you. Aren't you dead? The task of our people is past. The tree grows weak. Are those your words? Or Armin's? Where was Ormas when your mother was taken from us? Where was he? in your hour of need. Elika, I am your father. I am your king. Say, the next time you want to win your daughter back, you could try just giving her a pony. The apocalypse doesn't really cut it. Yeah, he's going to be a boss fight. The fifth corrupted or something. I'm calling it. We have one of the powers of Omaz. We can reach more of the fertile grounds. Let's go to them. But instead, we'll stand around and talk. I think we must heal more lands before we return here again. Well, it stands to reason. The fertile grounds are what count now. We must get to them. There's nothing here for us. And why does he keep going to that view? I'm sure you and your father... My father betrayed his duty. He's risked Aramin returning to the world. Yes, but why do you think he did it? I don't know. On the next episode of Let's Play Prince of Persia, we head off to the Citadel, whichever one of those four places it is. And, uh... Well, there will be more talking, too. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you then.